Hey everybody, the Reese Viral here, and welcome back to more Risen. Okay, I can't remember what I was doing. Nope. Do I have a list or something to kind of tell who got stolen from? I was, I was about to say, am I talking correctly? The houses of Nelson, Flavio, and Baxter. Baxter and Flavio. I'll go and speak with them. Why not? That's not who I want to speak with. Baxter, there you are. Oh no, wait. No, not Baxter. Are you Baxter? About the break in. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Sure. What was stolen? What else? Gold. Yeah, this course. is Baxter. I thought he said gold Nelson. Belongs to the order. Now it's gone. How much gold was taken? All of it. I don't know exactly how much. I was just about to do the accounts when I noticed the theft. Well. Who was in the house on the day of the break in? Well. Doyle tried to sell me fish, but I don't like fish, so he left. That fat oaf Vasily brought beer. I paid for that, traded him a few pieces of meat. And of course, I oh, yeah. was here a few times, but that isn't unusually works here after all. True. So, I've noticed one thing in common is that Doyle visited both people. I'm saying this as if I'm, like, you know, working for the fucking order. I ain't. I want to speak with Vasily. There we go. Did you belong to Romanov's crew? What's that to you? You see a sailor, you suspect they're a pirate. Not all sailors are pirates. No. You were seen in a house that was burgled. I deliver beer to a lot of houses. I'm seen everywhere. Fair enough. True enough. Patty is looking for her father. Ha! <laughs> Show me someone who isn't looking for Captain Gregorius Steelbeard. I'll tell you what I tell anyone. He was here a long time ago. But where he is now, I don't know. Okay. What else do you know about Steelbeard? Only rumors. Ericsson says Steelbeard has a shack in the town. But I don't believe it. If Ericsson really knew where Steelbeard's shack was, he'd have plundered it. And be leagues from here by now. Hmm. Instead, I only ever see him hanging around Sonya's brothel. Why do you think Ericsson's interested in Steelbeard's shack? Ha! <laughs> the house of a famous pirate captain who terrorized the seas and amassed inconceivable riches. Show me someone who wouldn't love to poke around in that house. Good point, I guess. Ericsson is who I'm after. My god, they love to play them bloody flutes. And then he said pipes. Oh dear. Right. Oh, Nico is actually running the store. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. I didn't expect that to actually happen. Who was the other? Flavio. There he is. Master Belshaw has the meat. He's handing it out. Wonderful. Here, take these potions. Life here is very dangerous. We all need any help we can get. Yep, I'll add that to my collection of like 50 potions. Actually, they're good ones. Never mind, I have really crappy ones. About the break in. What was stolen? Ah, uh, my hides. If that hadn't have happened, I would have been able to carry on my business. Oh, I should have listened to my father and gone to sea. That would have saved me a lot of trouble. Hmm. Who was here on the day of the break? Let me guess, Doyle. Just the usual day oh, who never mind. to push their wares off on me. <sighs> like I have any gold left. Anyone else? Uh, Pavel was here the whole day. After all, he works for me. And Vasily wanted to sell me beer from the tavern. And then there was there Doyle. There we he go. He wanted to sell fish, but I sent him away. So again, Doyle. It seems the common enigma with all of these people, or with all the break-ins, is Doyle. Interestingly enough, I will, I'll talk to Sid about it, because that's how I convert this quest into working for the Don, as opposed to working for the Order. So, yeah. Although I do want to find er er Ericsson, and they said Enrico. <laughs> oh, I'm really bad with names. But I'm not entirely sure where the bloody hell he is. Sonia, where am I, actually? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Already, oh, I might be in Sonya's. 
Maybe. There will be a way. Lily. Well, you look like you've got deep pockets. And there's no better place to dig into them than Madame Sonia's House of Pleasure. We've got something to suit all tastes. And the girls there are talented, flexible, and lice free. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. I didn't expect oh, nice. To find I can do it. Like you in this Woo! Town. I'm surprised the Order hasn't put a guard on you. Ah, oh, aren't you the silver tongued one? You know yep. how to talk, don't you? Ew. You won't find another like me on this blessed island. Come back to me, won't Just the you? way she talks. And bring more than compliments. It's no. <laughs> you know how to talk, don't you? It's like bloody hell, could she have had a thicker accent? Christ. Healing root. And more shit. Hey, a mana root. No weeds. Oh, man. I'd have quite liked to pick up some weed. Uh, like... To make, not for, well yeah, for Bruegelweed. To give to Robard, and then to knock his, knock his ass out. Whoa, Ooh, a pipe. You Erickson? Aha! What's your problem? Okay. Had a few, have you? I'm just getting to know Harbour Town. Tell someone who gives a shit. Now fuck off and stop sleeping. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. That was hilarious. <laughs> Tell someone who gives a shit. Now fuck off and stop snooping. I can't believe it was so aggressive. You belong to Captain Romanov's crew. Snooping like a spy. Now asking questions. Whoever you are, I'm going to kick your skull straight out of your stupid head. I don't think you will. You're going to tell me what I need to know. Come on, let's get this done. Fine, let's fucking fight. Ooh, he has a sledgehammer. Oh! Lateral strikes, fucker! What the heck? On top of a bench. Got him. I'll take your hammer. Eh, yeah, confiscated it, you bitch. Ooh, a key. Shack key. G-E-S. Steelbeard. Was it Steelbeard? I don't remember his name. That's Madame Sonia. Could take a necklace. All right. What do you want? You shouldn't have such a big mouth. You shouldn't have such <laughs> a big mouth. What do you want from me? Do you know where Captain Steelbeard's shack is? You don't know what you're getting into. If you keep on like this, you're a dead man walking. Why? You're gonna tell me where Steelbeard's shack is. You're gonna tell me now. All right, all right. In the gutters. It's in the gutters. It's one of those shacks near Costa's hotel. Now that's it. I've said enough. Too much. And that key you had fits the front door. I've said too much. Hmm. There's pointless pickpocketing him. Okay. Ship's officer, Olga. I can tell you're hungry Whoa. for the kind of adventure that only Olga can bring. I see things. I know things. I can see things too. Sonia and a few gold coins stand in your way. Uh, all, what stands in your way is bloody clothes. Jesus. Well, no one gets angry that I come in here. But shh, be very quiet. They'll never know. All I'm waiting to hear is thieving bastard. And I didn't do anything. What are you talking about? Oh. She somehow didn't see me. Wow, you've got a blind prostitute. <laughs> Seemingly, she didn't see that I went into that room. Ooh, someone's having a bath. Gwen. Whoa. Oh god, she's also wearing belly and anything. I'm not even here, alright? So what's the matter? It's that drunken pig, Ericsson. He sits on that bench all day, eyeing me up. Yeah. Making his lips, making his hand gestures. It's so creepy. And then I find out he paid Madame Sonia for me. I refused to go with him, and he beat me, bastard. Jesus. Ericsson got what he deserved. Yeah, I saw you gave him quite the beating. Glad in my heart it did. But it ain't enough. In a few days I'll be back on that bench again. Staring, licking, gesturing. 
I'll have a word with him. I'll have a word with him. Would you spit in his face while you're at it? Fucking hell. Maybe not. I don't want to piss him off, you know. Woman beater. <laughs> what a name for a quest. Hot damn. Ooh, what the fuck? Fuck off, Olga. God. Jesus. She's up my ass. I've got a message for you. Leave now if you know what's good for you. And if you even look at the girls here again, you'll regret it. Oh, lover, are you? Or save your effort. I was gonna go anyway. Stay here long enough, you'll catch the pox. Then maybe you already have. Oh wow. I didn't even have to fight him. That's incredible. Oh, lover, are you? Madam Sonia. Uh, I mean, sure. Good job, sweetie. Hey. Oh, nice. Erickson had it coming. What can you offer me? You are in the finest brothel in town. If you can't find it here, it's not worth having. Oh yeah. Uh. That drunk Erickson has taken off. That's a weight off my mind, and no mistake. I think that warrants a reward. Hey, hey fifty gold. Nice. There we go. I'll Talk be nice. About you. How's business? The Inquisition don't care about maintaining order in a brothel. So they turn a blind eye when our clients reach a new level of disgusting. Just take a look at that bastard over there. His name's Ericsson. Drinks all day and hits my girls. My regular guards left town and Ericsson won't listen to me. Dirty scum. Damn. So... Yeah. Do you also sell information? If you have the gold, I have the knowing. Give me ten gold coins, then ask your question. If I can answer it, sweetie, then I will. And if I can't, then I still keep the gold. Fuck that, then. How does that deal work for me? Believe me, there's little that goes on around here that doesn't come through my doors sooner or later. Comforting to know. But no risk, no fun. Right? Yeah, sure. I mean, I could do that, but no thanks. Don't need it. Right, so, I think I'm pretty good. I've done not everything there is to do in the hot house, but it's all good. Don't need to matter. What I want to do is go and speak with Sid. Have a word with him. And just be like, yo, Rodrigo. A guy whose name I can't say is trying to get rid of you. Rodriguez. There we go. I spoke to Rodriguez. He thinks you're behind the break-ins. He's trying to frame me. He hates me. Always has for some reason. Hmm. Rodriguez thinks you're using a spy to check out potential houses. Does he? Do you? Have a spy? What do you think? Who is it? No, cause I don't. Why would I? But if you find a spy, talk to me before you talk to Rodriguez. Maybe no one needs to get in trouble. Yeah, I'm gonna say I found, found him. Your spy. You have, have you? I'll talk to them and get the proof I need. Sure. Sure you will. Okay, Sid, you don't need to play dumb. We both know who the spy is. And for Christ's sake, it's the only guy that's the odd one out. A random guy that's not even a fishmonger. Going around selling random ass fishes. Really? I mean, whatever. Leave him to it. All he does is bloody sleep, though. Oh. Oh, no. Hold up, what? Oh, right, yeah, his, we his wife. Can I speak with him? Don't bother me with this. <laughs> okay, Jesus. Doyle. There we go. What is it? You were seen in a house that was burgled. But I sell fish door to door. I spend time in people's houses. If you say so. Yeah, there we go. You're the only person seen in all the houses that were broken into. Which makes you a prime suspect. Come off it. You can't prove that, mate, and you know it. I can beat a confession out of you. That would be a big mistake, mate. I'll take the chance. Or we skip the beating and you tell me the truth. And if I do, will you help me? Or will you hang me out to dry? Just tell me. I cased the houses for Sid. There. Not so hard, was it? But what do I do with this information? Oh, patronizing. Sid hears I've talked, he'll feed me to the rot worms. And if the order finds out, they'll send me to the monastery. You've got to keep this quiet. Me it? Oh, there we go. It's better if you disappear for good. You will surrender to the order. Fuck that. 
It's better if you disappear. For good. That way you won't be a problem for Sid. Or anyone. No. You wouldn't. I don't mean kill no. you. God. Don't kill me. It would solve the problem. Wait. If I have to disappear, then let me disappear. I'll vanish underground. I'll never come back to Harbour Town again. I swear on the Holy Flame, mate. Everyone will believe I'm dead, even my family. What do you say? I, I can be gone in seconds. Ooh, there we go. Oh, hang on. Can't take the. No, fuck that. Do you know a way out of Harbour Town? I'll find one. I I'll jump the wall if I have to. Okay, right. Right. I'm not going to say I can't take the risk. You've vanished. But if I ever hey! see you here again. You decided to follow Don Esteban. Of course you. I have. I swear I'm gone forever. I want to be a warrior. I do not want to be a mage. Or a warrior of the order. So I think I've done four in, in the, the Don's favour. I believe. Although there's still more quests that I do want to finish, so. It's all good. Either way, city boy! I found your spy. It's Doyle. The idiot. I thought he was better than that. No, oh, don't worry, he's gone. I got rid of him. Doyle has gone. Forever, I hope. Mm -hmm. What did you do with him? You really want to know? Nah. You dealt with it. That's enough for me. Let's forget him and talk business. Looks like I saved your skin. True. I'd be on the run right now. Mm. So, how will you repay me? Scordo knows you helped me. That's reward enough. I can teach you a couple of tricks. If you want to learn how to sneak or open a lock with a piece of wire, I'm your man. And if you need lock picks, I can get them for you as well. Okay. Who's Scordo? Who's Scordo? I'm going to trust you with this. He's ah. the world's head man in Harbour Town. Your paths will cross soon enough. Don't worry. All right. Who is your leader here in the town? There's an old storeroom at the rear of there it is. brothel. You'll find him there. Good. Talk to the bandit chief. One of you better at thieving. I, want to be a ba oh, I can't actually get any others. Do you have a job for me? Yeah. Now we're in the clear. It's time to teach the order a lesson. They sorely need it. I mean, they steal cattle from the farms and ration our food. The world's in turmoil, and they impose their rules. And? And people like Dargle the Butcher just do what the order says. So it's time to act. We need to show Dargle who can protect him and who can't. Where do I fit in? See Dargle and remind him that Don Esteban has a long reach. All right, cool. Fleecing the butcher. I mean, the good thing about this is the fact I don't. There's not really any repercussions for fighting humans. Well, once you get knocked out, they stop. There we go. Uh. From what I hear, Harbour Town's dangerous. You should think about protection. The warriors of the Order give me all the protection I need. They can't be everywhere. You just have to see the crime in this town to see that. Oh, I get it. You're from the Don's men, here to lean on me. You thought, ah, the butcher, he'll be a soft touch. So, do things have to get nasty? Ha! Hurt me, he says. Come on, you want to fight? That's the stuff! Oh, what the hell happened there? I have no idea. Either way, he's getting fucked up. Owned! I can't see. I win. I know. Take everything. I don't even care. Haha! <laughs> Why not fuck with me, bitch? <laughs> That was easy enough. <laughs> oh, ah. Excuse me, Dick. Where the hell is he going? You're hurting now. Agree to protection from Sid, and it'll never happen again. I'll mend. This doesn't change anything. I'm not paying you. Not now, not ever. Now sling your hook. Oh, no. It's fine, because I finished that quest anyway. Basically what would happen is it would cancel fleeting the butcher and it would start up clear out Dargle's chest, which I did. 
So technically I've already done it. I don't know if he has anything else. Oh yeah, there we go. I guess that's all. There's still a, a, quite a bit of stuff to do though. Uh, I'm just looking through the quest list for... Okay, Doyle must disappear, that's finish. Dances with butchers. Already got that done. I mean, I could actually go to... Um, crap. I could go and speak with the Commandant. Just so it's completed. I don't really want to work for him. It's whether or not I can do that. Like, would they know I'm siding with the Don just from looking at me? Is that mostly just something they'd assume? Why can't we all just get along? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Why can't we be friends? Oh. Alright. I was about to say, they've got a lot of shit up here. But they don't. <laughs> it's a berry. I do want to look around to make sure they have... Or, to make sure they don't have more plants. They have a fair amount though. Druid's Hemlock. Healing plant. Or herb. It goes herb, plant, root, doesn't it? Holt. You're not coming in here. Commandant Carlos has summoned me. I know. I've been expecting you. Then are you going to let me in? Wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't. Eh. I'm confused. <laughs> you can't come in here. Commandant's expecting me. Yes, I was expecting you. Can I come in then? I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't. He's like, oh, uh, what? <laughs> you said I couldn't come in, but now you're saying I can come in. Crazy. What's this building? It's our guardhouse. And the headquarters of Carlos, the commandant of the town. Oh, yes. How did you become a warrior of the order? I volunteered. Conscripts usually get sent to the temple ruins after training. I'd rather take guard duty in town any day of the week. They actually tried to make me become a mage. A mage? <laughs> I mean, really? All that messing around with magic. It's not natural. Alright. Oh, Commandant's right there. Can't look at them all. Who's this? That's a chicken. Philippe! What do you want? Not much. What's with that staff? I'm a trainer. I teach staff fighting. Not a lot of call for that here. What do you mean? The men here have already been trained. And they have to spend their time keeping the peace. What about you? Would you like to train? Hmm, nah. No interest in staffs, thanks. Friend? Uh, I mostly just want, want to look around to see if there's out I can steal. Oh my, motherload. Is that a water barrel? No, it is. This is one of those cases where I'm like, this is probably a mistake. But I do want to steal from them. Because I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't. So, of course, because I want to steal. Uh, right, yeah, play through. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. I mean, it might be fine, but just to be safe. Oh, won't be fine. It worked. It did indeed. Two gold coins. Yeah, I don't think these guys are going to have all that much, to be fair. That guy didn't turn around. But that wasn't it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Nice. Oh, this one just opens. Perfect. Oh, I love it. The fact I don't need to like worry about it. Like what the shit? I just stole from all of them and they don't care. Ha! Huh. Either that or they didn't see me. I mean I was picking the lock on a chest, so you'd think they'd care about that. I was checking I was if I was being followed. <gasps> Rusty so Oh. Hi. Warrior of the Order. How do you do? Will they notice they're missing? Hmm, I could have sworn I saw rusty swords here. Oh my. Better start Crap. again. Let's do left, right, right, left. Fuck. That wasn't it. Left, right, left, right. Yes. Really? First time I've seen that. 
Oh yeah. Speed. Different. Increases my movement speed. That just sounds like it would be a bad time. It would just lead to... Well, getting really hurt. Just take everything. Don't care. If it ain't nailed down, I'm taking it. I want to go to Commandant Carlos' uh, house. Or, you know, his where he's staying. I'm also just curious as to what the hell he has. <laughs> oh, I'm literally taking everything. I love it. It's just too fun. <laughs> it's hard to resist. I don't think you ever have to um, unlock cupboards. I'm pretty sure that's something you don't ever have to do. There's something here about wisdom! Magic. Nice. A wisdom increase is always welcome. Hold up. <gasps> he has more shit! I thought there was a guy in here. God damn, they really have a lot of stuff. Good job you don't have to worry about wit. I would be screwed otherwise. I do like that, that they have random swords attached to the walls and everything. Which just means you can take everything. It's really quite nice. I'm not sure what's up here though. Probably nothing. Ooh, what do you know? I was right. Oh well. Either way I can go, go down to Carlos now. Now that I've stolen everything he has. I'm only talking to him because it is one of my quests. It would probably get cancelled. I'm going to save just before. Just in case it, you know, buggers everything up. I don't think it will. Like, just talking to Carlos, cancelling out the Don stuff, I don't think would happen. Ah, finally I get a look at you. I wish I had spoken to you sooner. Before oh. you decided to band with criminals. Your talents are wasted with them. Still, your there choice we go. is made. Do you have any further tasks for me to do? Do you have any further tasks for me to do? You have been mentioned in the same breath as the Don's men too often for me. I would be better advised not to get involved with you. Okay. That was real easy XP. Thanks, dudes. Hang on, can I? Oh, I can. Rusty sword. I don't think there's anybody out here, so fuck it. They don't need swords anywhere. No, they don't use them. Hold up. Just realised. Jesus. Oh wow, that guy didn't turn around. I'm quite lucky. They'll just wake up tomorrow and be like, where the bloody hell have all of, all of our swords and shields gone? It's like, I'm not sure. We had them all when uh, when that fellow came by. It's, it's just funny to think of. Ah, oh, man. Alright. So, I've now, on the plus side, I'm glad that it has, you know, said that I've banded with them, so... They won't help me. Tilda. Hey. If you're looking to buy something, you'll have to talk to comrades. I'll just work here. Okay. You don't sound. Yeah, you don't exactly sound happy. You don't sound too happy about that. My family's been selling our harvest to comrade for years. When we lost everything in the troubles, he said he'd take us in. In, he makes us sleep outside. Oh. Tell me about Conrad. His house is cock. full of supplies, but he won't share them with you if that's what you're after. He didn't lift a finger to help us when they took our cows to be slaughtered, and we've known him for years. Who took your cows? The Inquisition. Oh. Said they needed to feed people, but now how do we feed ourselves? Of course, Comrade talked to Carlos and got his cows spared. Hmm. What happened to you? You must know what terrible things have befallen this island. All those ruins bursting from the ground. Some of them rose in the middle of our farm and the Inquisition said we had to leave. But my sons, my sons are still out there somewhere. They all went their own way before these creatures came. I hardly get a wink of sleep worrying about them. You exactly you look old though. Are? Do you know where my sons are? I have no idea. If you hear anything or meet someone who's been outside, please don't forget to ask about them. Please. Names. I'm going to say can I, about your, your, your son's names. Yeah, what are they called? What are your sons called? A 
Beppo's the oldest. He didn't want to come to town with us. Always ran with the wrong crowd. I worry he's fallen in with the Don's gang. He has. William volunteered for military service with the Inquisition. And Leon, my youngest, just took off in the night. I'll keep my eyes open. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Don't get your hopes up. Yeah, I was going to say, I found both of them. The only one I've not found is the one that's in with the Inquisition. I've seen your youngest son, Leon. Really? He's alive then? Yes. He's living in a hut north of the town. That fills me with joy. Thank you for sharing this news. I hope he watches out for wild animals. The forest is very dangerous and he was always the weakest. <laughs> I met your oldest son, Beppo. Is he alright? I worry so about him. 